Hello, sports fans and football fans of the, what we're going to call the Sportsman Z Football League. Um, this is, uh, if you remember, I did a game, an opening week game for this se season, which was the uh, Birmingham Stallions, who soundly thrashed, as you can see here, the Dallas Cowboys, by the score of 27 to three and so these are the divisions i've gone over you know what years these teams all are and um and these are the two leagues the afc and the nfc um <clears throat> and the two teams that i am going to be showing from time to time are the birmingham stallions and the chicago bears i have Put myself as in control of the Birmingham Stallions and the Bears, but for week one, I simulated the Bears game, and the Bears actually beat Minnesota by the score of 20 to 10. And uh, we will go, let's take, just let's take a quick look at the Bears. Um, this is, let's see, well, e these are the statistics, but I'm trying to find out what year this was. Um, but anyway, um, let me see here. Yeah, let's go to the notebook. Maybe the notebook will tell me. Um, they were 11 and 5. I think it's, uh, oh, here it is. It's the 2005 Bears. Okay. And the, um, Birmingham Stallions are the, uh, 19, uh, I believe 1984. Birmingham Stallions. So today we are going to um, do the uh, second game on the Bears schedule. They'll be at home, as you can see, against the Denver Broncos. So let's get up here and let's play the first week <coughs> or the second week. Sorry. Um, and as you can see, I am listed as manual for the Denver-Chicago game and manual for the Birmingham game. We will quick play that game, though, and I will play one week. And it is simulating the games that I will not be running. And let's see what we've got here. Um, this is the game I want to do. <clears throat> not the Birmingham game. So we will launch this Chicago game, the um, 1984. And actually, it's not the Denver Broncos. It's the Denver Gold that we will be playing. We will play, be playing. I can't, can't speak right here. We will be playing the 1984 Denver Gold of the USFL. Chicago Bears, my Bears! And here you're going to see the um, here is where you're going to see the dice results, and here is where you're going to see the um, uh, so far today. So that will be so far today, and let me see, I can't move. So I can just, oh, wait a minute, yes, I can. Probably looks a little neater if I line it up here. There's, yeah, there's nothing else next to that. So. I'm going to go, I'm going to start with a flat pass to the tight end Clark. Right. Pick up. 12 yard pick up. And by the way, I did not go over the offense. So right. let's do that. Uh, for the Bears offense, you've got um, Mushin Muhammad at split end. 
Left tackle is John Tate. The left guard is Reuben Brown. The center is Olin Kruitz. The uh, right guard is Terrence Metcalf. The right tackle is Fred Miller. Tight end is Desmond Clark, who just caught that pass. Uh, flanker is Justin Gage. The quarterback will be Kyle Orton, who that year attempted 368 passes and completed only 51.6% of them with a 3.5% interception percentage. Um, Mark Edwards will be the blocking back. And uh, Thomas Jones will be the halfback. So, that and I'm going to go off tackle with Jones on second down, or on first down. We got first down. All right, uh, let's go to the pro set. I want to go to the pro set, and let's go short pass to the flanker. Greatest play call, but it is, except that there was a penalty. And it was. So it's a second and 16. I'm going to go back to the pro set. And uh, let's go end run. Four yards. So we got a third and eleven. I'm going to do a look-in pass to the flank. Goal, and it's going to be a short gain. Are you kidding me? But it's only going to be four. Well, it's going to be twelve yards. That's enough. Nope. We had a penalty again. God, penalties are already killing us. Is it going to be one of those games? All right, it's third and 16. I'm going to go. You know what? I'm just going to do a draw play with the half. And we've got to. Right, we got to play conservative. So we're going to punt. It's a 36 yard. The goal takeover, uh, first and five, uh, or first and ten, first and ten, sorry, at their own 35. Right. And I'm going to put in the run. Right. And, uh, right. Right. So they have a, they have a first and ten, maybe it was offsetting penalties. But anyway, let's go through the offense for the Denver Gold. They're going to have uh, Leonard Harris at flanker, Victor Hicks at tight end, Harold Norfleet at right tackle, right guard is George Yarno, center is John Yarno, left guard is Greg Fiesel, the left tackle is Steve Rogers. You got Kevin Williams um, at a split end. The quarterback is Craig Penrose. Harry Sidney is the halfback, and the fullback is Bo Matthews. On defense, the Bears will have uh, Andrew uh, or Adewale Agunlier at left tackle. Uh, Tommy Harris at, le at left, wing, uh, left end, and then uh, Tommy Harris at left tackle. Chris Harris at free safety. Um, right tackle will be Ian Scott. Right end is Alex Brown. Left linebacker is Hunter Hillemeyer. Middle linebacker is Erlocker, our main man, Brian Erlocker. Right linebacker is Lance Briggs. He was good. Uh, Nathan Vasher at cornerback. Uh, strong safety is Mike Brown. 
And Charles Tillman will be at left cornerback. And let's see, get this guy in. All right, so I think that covers everybody. And I'm going to put in the pass. And what we're going to have here, intercepted. It's going to be a pickoff peak here, and then the return. Let's see, I'm going to try to return. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's not bad. All right. So, we got the ball back by intercepting the gold quarterback, the Denver Gold's quarterback. And we got a, I don't know, I don't like, like that formation for the pro set. So, let's go end run with Jones on first down. And that's going to be a six-yard game. So, all right, we'll, we'll take their suggestion and we'll off tackle. Second. And that's going to be nothing. That's going to be a whole lot of nothing right there. All right, we got a third and four at our um, at our 38. And we're going to go back to the pro set, and I'm going to do a flat pass to the flanker. We get a receiver. And we're going to get six yards out of that. And a first. So, got a first and ten at our 44, 937 left in the first quarter. We're going to go end run with the flanker. That's a little, you know, uh, crazy play. And that's going to be a short gain if we don't have a penalty, which it doesn't look like we do. So a little crazy play on the goal, taking advantage of their uh, overzealousness. And uh, we get another first down, and we're going to go back to the pro set. And I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback Jones. We're really leaning heavily on Jones, but when you got Gordon, And he gets some yards. We have a second and six at the Denver Gold 40. Right. Let's try a long pass. I'm just going to try a long pass right here to Muhammad right. just to see what happens. Well, quarterback flush from the pocket and a receiver and so gets the first down exactly we have a first and 10 at the Denver 34 and I'm going to go flat pass to the tight end club. and that's going to be a receiver and it's going to be no so we have a second and 10 at the Denver Gold 34 let's try a short pass to the flanker because I'm really feeling Orton's luck here. And he gets a 10-yard completion. Orton is really uncharacteristically good here. As you can see, he's four for five today for 34 yards and no interceptions. Uh, we're gonna go back to the pro set. Again, I like the pro set, I prefer the pro set. Let's go flat to the split end. A lot of passing, and I don't think the goal are probably expecting this from us. And we're going to get another 10 yards if that penalty is not on us. Um, let's see. If I accept the penalty, it's our ball on the 19. If I decline, it's our ball on the 14. So, I'm going to take it. I mean, I'm going to decline. So, Orton today, 5 of 6 for 44 yards. That dude is racking up we're going to go pro set again. And let's go line buck with the fullback, Edwards. See what he can do. Probably a lot of nothing there. End up in the back field. Got a second and 11 at the Denver 15. Let's go flat pass to Jones, the halfback. Going to pass to the running back, as I've been told I don't do a lot. So let me do it here. This is going to be a nine-yard pickup. That's 
not too bad. Right, so we should be two yards short. We are third and two at the Denver six. I'm going to do a line buck with Orton. And he doesn't even have a lot of yards, but let's see if he can get the two yards. He can't, but he can get one of them. So now we got a fourth and one. This is decision time here, and I am not going to kick. Shot. I am going to go line buck with the fullback Edwards. And that doesn't look good. But he does make it. In fact, he got four yards. So we have a first and goal to go at the Denver one. Now I am going to go line buck with Orton. Again, doesn't look like a lot of great choices. Got a third down, or a second down, second and goal. And we're going to go... Let's go third right receiver and uh, look in. No, can't do flat. Uh, let's go short. Let's just go short. Let's right. so, so receiver zero. I don't know what that is. Four. See Orton today, seven of eight, 54 yards and a touchdown. That dude is Joe Montana today. All right, we're gonna go to the extra point. All right, so here's where we're kicking off. Get a good return. They do get a, that is a very good return. Denver's going to have it first and ten at their own forty-three. I'm going to I'm going to look for the run. First down. Just the plain run. Let's see what happens here. Five yards. Wait a minute. But he doesn't. So he gets five yards, he's got a second and five. Uh, let's, I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm gonna go balance, that works for me. Let me see what we get when we get balanced. Uh, so he's got a third and two. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going run and I'm gonna key on his half. Zero yards. Oh, wait a minute. There's a penalty. And it was on him. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't know what that was. Let's see. Well, anyway. He's got a first and ten, so I'm just going to back up balance defense. He's got a first and ten. And he's going to get some yards there. Second and eight. Let's go. I'm looking run. Looking run. And he's gonna get five. So third and three. We've got him again. Let's see if we can hold him. I'm just gonna look for run this time. It looks like it's an incomplete. Pass. They are going fourth and are they going on four on fourth and three? Well I'm gonna go I'm looking for the pass. And it gets ten yards. What the heck? I never see the computer go for something. Alright, he's got a first and ten. Thirty-nine seconds here in the first quarter. I got a first and ten. I'm gonna look for the one. And he gets five yards. Right, so obviously, this is a passing oriented team. I'm going to look for pass. And 
possible interception. Five yards down the field. Penrose is going to be picked off for the second time. I'm going to try to return the ball. And let's see what we get. Touchdown! <laughs> oh, now are you kidding me? It's going to be a pick six, people. Pick six from a bear. Penrose not having a good game. He has probably had better days. So yeah, a return for a touchdown, and I'm going to try the extra point. The Bears are well on their way, people, the 2-0. Oh. But, and maybe I did because I mean, they've had the ball two times on two interceptions. So, let's kick it off. First and 10 for him at his own 19. And I'm going to put in the balance to start with. And I'm going to put in the balance again. Let's go balance again. We are in the second floor. Pass rush! And we sack Penrose. Penrose is having a terrible day. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put, put that out there. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna look for the pass. But it's a fourth and 16, that's all I need to do. And I'm gonna do a punt return. We have stopped here, Mr. Weir. Three down. Once on downs, twice on interceptions. I'm going to try to return it. Why not? We had another chance for a touchdown. They didn't have a missed it. So we've got a first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. Let's go. I mean, I just really not I mean not. Really, we just have to eat some clock and not be stupid. Some yards, so let's go back to the pro set. Let's go flat pass to the halfback. Not a lot of good. Work. So Wharton overthrows a lot of guys there. Third and twelve. Let's go short to the split end. He should be ready for that, and it looks like they are. Defensive alignment, but he's going to get 11 yards with that. And what does that give us a fourth and one? You know me. You know I'm going for it. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to go tight end. And I'm going to go line buck with Jones. Well, we got a chance. We get, the one, we get just the one yard that we need. And so we have a first and ten at their 40. I'm going to go back to the pro set. And a flat pass to the tight end, Clark. Going to my end right. Clark for eight. And we're moving again on that. And uh, let's go back to the pro set. Let's go line buck with, and if not with Edwards, Jones. And then Edwards had a zero yard average. So. Well, they weren't looking for it, but he got the first down. So we got a first and 10 at the Denver goal 30. We're going to go pro set and end run with the halfback, Jones. Mr. Jones. And he's going to get five yards. Right. We got a second and five. Let's go back to the pro set. Let's go line buck with Orton just because I want to do it. They shouldn't be looking for it. Third and three coming up here. Let's go pro set and 
off tackle with the half back. We are leaning really heavily on Jones. I don't know if he's even going to be available. I know that we're about to rack up some serious pointage lead. Um, yeah, I'll keep that in and let's go draw play with Peterson. Yeah, there we go. You got a new guy in Adrian Peterson. Not that this Adrian Peterson is the worst one. He loses two yards. So um, we got a second and twelve. You know we're no. I'm gonna go pro. Um, can I get can I get a pro set here? And we're gonna go short to the split. Of course they're looking for it. That makes it but he gets 11 yards again. Up. And again we are very close to a first down. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna change the. I'm gonna change the running back here. Brian Johnson, and then we're going to go line buck with Brian Johnson. No, I can't go line buck with Johnson. All right, well then I'm going to go line buck with Jones. Maybe I change the. Formation. All right, well we got Johnson's in there now. Can we do a line buck now? No, I guess he's only in there to block in this formation. So anyway, let's do this. I mean, we're moving the ball. Second and goal at the three yard line. Let's bring out the pro set. This time we're going to bring in Johnson, and I know I can run the ball with Johnson now. Let's go off tackle with Johnson. Of course, he was ready for it. Zero yard pickup. We got a third. Is that third and goal? Yeah. The pro set, short pass. Blank. And it's going to be receiver. And that man, that's all big yards right there. And it's going to be, I think, another touchdown. Love it to gauge. And we're only up to nothing. I mean, nothing to be alarmed about if you're a Denver Bowl fan. <laughs> so it's 21 nothing Bowl. <clears throat> this is crazy. I mean, loving it. We're going to kick off. And it looks like it's going to be... No, that's not good. So they got it first and 10 at their own 22. I really just have to pin... <clears throat> pin my ears back and get ready for a pass. And this could be another pickoff, and it is! Penrose, my god, Penrose. Go into, uh, you know, start working for UPS or something. Uh, I'm going to try to gain some yards. And it's going to be zero. And it's going to be stopped right there. But, we have a first and ten at the Denver Gold 36. You know what? I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go uh, four wide receiver. Yeah, let's go long to the split end. I mean, you know, you might as well play some ball here. It's going to be incomplete. Quarterback flushed from the pocket. He's flushed from the pocket and he's still going to get nine yards. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's go off tackle with Joe. Joe. He's going to get um, Yeah, let's go to the pro set. Let's go flat pass to the tight end. That's going to be a receiver. 
And it's going to be four yards. I'll take it. With no fumble. So we got a second and six at the Denver Gold 17. Let's go pro set. Let's go short pass to the split end Muhammad. I, w I wish uh, these bears were good. I mean, well, they were 11. Um, you got three minutes left here in the second quarter, or as we like to call it, the first half. And uh, we're going to go pro set again. As you can see, Orton is 14 of 16 for 111 yards and two touchdowns. He's never had a day like that. Can I just tell you? I used to watch the Bears. He never had a day like that. We're going to end run Jones. He's going to get Let's pick up second and goal at the Denver 3. 222 left. We'll put in the pro here. Two minutes left. Right at the two minute warning. Let's go off tackle with the half. It's going to be a touchdown. Jones today so far has 15 rushes for 47 yards and a touchdown. And we're going to kick the extra point, and that should put us up 28 nothing, and probably puts us in a situation where I can say safely, I don't think we're going to And I'm going to kick off. To the six, it looks like. With a fumbled plus 10 yard return. This is going to be awesome. To go to this no, I guess he didn't. So, anyway, they've got a first and 10 at the 16 yard line. And I'm going to put in the pass because he's got to start passing sooner or later. And it really, even if he runs, and he's always running right off, always uh, he's not going to have enough time to get 28 points. So we are going to put in the pass again. And it is going to be... This time, Tim Rose is not picked up. Boy, it's a bad one. And uh, that brings third and ten from the 16. I'm going to put him balanced. Just because I'm crazy like that. And we stop him quickly. So fourth and ten, you got to believe he's not burnt. No, he is burnt. We're going to do the punt return. Only 52 seconds left. short punt. And I'm going to try to return the ball. I mean, I might as well now. And that's going to be a catch. 45 seconds left. You know I'm going uh, four wide receiver. Short pass to the split. And that's going to be a receiver. And it's going to be 11 yards. Out of bounds. Um, I'm going to 37 seconds left. I'm going to pro set. And uh, another short pass to the tight end, Clark Nub to Muhammad. It's a receiver again. And it's going to be 12 yards, but it, 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 it possible fumble after it. But we're going to recover. Fumble. Okay, I'm going to call a timeout. I think that'll give me another play. 
Although we do have Robbie Gould, but still. Let's try to get him. Let's try to get him. 30 seconds left. Let's, I mean, I don't want to get a touchdown. Uh, I'm going to go... You know what? I'm going to go draw play with Jones because they're not going to be expecting that. And he's going to get a seven-yard pickup, and that should be right in uh, Robbie Gould's territory. I am calling a time out there. 22 seconds left. Second and three at the 17. Right. Let's go short pass to the split end. Right. There's going to be a pass rush. Right. All right. I am. I'm not going to. I am going to call a timeout. But 15 seconds left. I'm going to try. I'm going to do a kick. Let's try a kick. And field goal, and I'm going to assume Gould can make it from here. Good. So it's only 31 nothing. I don't know why he's quite said. 31 nothing. Eight seconds left in the half. And it was a penalty. Gould, by the way, today is 4 for 4 on points after the touchdown and as that field. Um, so they got, they've got a first and 10 at their 38. I'm just really pinning, pinning my ears back and looking for the pass because the last is complete with the passes. He ain't going anywhere. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, stats for that the box score today. So far, you've got Craig Penrose is 5 of 12 for 30 yards and three interceptions. I mean, this guy's worse than I would be. But Orton, on the other hand, is 16 of 18, 134 yards and two touchdowns with a quarterback rating of 134.7. And their running is like non-existent. And ours, Thomas Jones has 16 rushes for 54 yards. Orton has three for three. Edwards has two for three. Adrian Peterson has two for negative four. Gage has one for 12 yards. And Brian Johnson has one for Zipolo. So, um, we're going to kick off to them. This makes it easy on me. I mean, I'm just going to pin that in. So there's no way he's going to score 31 points running the ball or even a pass. He does get a good return. And that's not to say that he's not going to get a touchdown or that he's not going to score points. But, um, we got a pass rush on Penrose and he's sacked. So he's got a second and 16, and we're going to pass again. This was a good Bears defense. It wasn't the 85 defense, but it was a good defense. It really was. Um, yeah, we're going to put in the nickel, and we're going to put in the pass. And third and 10. And uh, quarterback flushed from the pocket. He's going to get something out of that. He's get but they don't get the first down. And they are going to go for it, which is not surprising because they did that earlier. Penrose today, 6 of 13, 39 yards, 3 interceptions. I am... I, I, you still got to look for it. I'm going to look for the run. Going to get four yards, but there's a penalty, and I am going to accept it. And now he shouldn't be going. Yeah, he's going to punt. So I'm going to put in the punt return. There's 12:54 left in the third quarter. Zip. That is nice. 
considering we won our first game against the Vikings 20 to 10. I'm going to try to return it. I mean, you don't really have to worry here. Get zero yards on the return. Um, you know what? Let me... Oh, wait, that's what. Wait a minute. Cancel. Let's see if I can put in pro set. Now, that's what I got. Now I got it. I'm going to put in Rex Grossman. My man, Rex. And uh, we're going to put in um, Brian Johnson. And uh, let's go off tackle with Johnson. I mean, I, you know, I'm playing a season here, so I want to get some guys some playing time in a game like this. It's going to be three yards for Johnson. So we got a second and seven. I'm going to put in my formation, pro set. We're going to take Orton out and put in Grossman. And we're going to go to a flat pass to the tight end Clark. And that's going to be incomplete. Come on. Incomplete pass. It's third and seven. Um, I am going to put in that formation. Off tackle with Joe. I mean, they shouldn't be expecting. And if he doesn't get enough yards, fourth and five, and we are going to punt. I'm going to take. A, I'm going to put Brad Main right there. Not that I would necessarily have to, but you got to play it on the safe side if you want to make sure you win this game. I don't want to be the guy that everybody talks about on YouTube played Stratomatic Football Computer and was up 31 nothing at halftime and lost the game. I don't want to be that guy. So. We got a first down for Denver now. First and 10 for the Denver Gold at their own 42. And we're going to pin our ears back and look for the pass. And it's going to be intercepted, possibly. And it is. It's going to be intercepted 14 yards down the field. That's the fourth interception we're keeping track at home for Penrose. We are going to try to return the ball. Oh, a lot of nice gains there. 25 yards. Nice. And uh, some zone. It is fourth and three. We are going to kick the field goal. So, we have a 34-point lead here. Yep, 34-point lead. And, uh, I mean, again, whatever you can do, not much you can do. So, he's got a first and 10 at his own 26. Right. And I'm going to look for the uh, pass. And I'm going to double team his split end. Right. Just for good measure. Uh, the pass. And he's going to be in favor. Seven twenty-nine left in the third quarter. Another possible intercept. This isn't even fun anymore. I mean, Penrose is an interception sheet. Rather, our defense is. Um, I'm going to try to gain some yards. And he's going to get a thirteen-yard return interception, and it is going to be an interception. And he's going to return it for a touchdown. Pick six off of Gross. Well, uh, that didn't go as planned, but then again, you know, only seven minutes left in the third quarter. It's going to be pretty good. Yeah, thanks, Bruce. So, uh, yeah, they're going to kick. We're going to do the kick block. We're doing the kick block thing. So, 
Horton today, 16 of 22, 134 yards, two touchdowns. And we are going to send Brainerd out to punt. We have 2.39 left in the third quarter. 40 yard punt. Almost roughing the country. So we, they've got a first and ten at their own five. And I am going to look for the pass. It's going to be a pass run. We're going to get them in the sack in the backfield. For a, what is that, a safety? Oh my God. All right, we're going to put in the punt return. We got them for a safety. 36 back one. Good field position. A minute. And it's going to be a nice touchdown. Pass by Grace. All right. Well, we're going to kick the extra point. I mean, this game. You know, usually I'm on pins and needles. Fifteen seconds left in the third quarter. It's 42-7. I, I don't know how bad the Denver Gold really were that year, but I got a feeling they're not going to be good in this one. And in fact, I think they were. So we stop them. They don't even get to the 20. And Penrose is still out there, bless his soul. So uh, <laughs> we're going to say pass. We're going to look for the pass. He's going to get a 10 yard completion. Dude is still out there giving it the old college try. We're going to look for the pass. Uh, he's going to get a 12 yard completion. So now, I mean, I guess we're getting kind of, I guess we're getting kind of lax here. We're going to double team his split end. Let's see what happens when we do that. Second and seven. I'm going to put in the pass. And uh, he, he's getting back. And it's a third and eight for them at their 42. I'm going to definitely look for the pass. It's going to be incomplete. Just that long game. But it's in time. And he is going to punt. And that is going to be the 12.57 left. He is punting. We're going to return the ball with Wade, Bobby Wade, try to catch it and return it. It's going to be a fair catch, and there is penalty, and I'm going to accept the penalty. So he's going to punt again from further back. And we're going to try to return the ball again. And that's going to be another fair kick. It's going to be a possible interception. And it is again. He's picked off again. This time, so uh, they're going to have a first and ten at the forty. I'm looking for. I'm going to do a linebacker. Let's let's have some fun. It'll be a six-yard gain. Run right through that blitz. Um, we're going to put in the pass. 
10.48 left in the game. And uh, we're, we're again going to pass. Right. He's got a second and six at our 25. He's going to get six yards out of that first down. It's going to be a first and 10 at 19. See, again, I mean, you know, he can, he'll have, he might have some success in the run. got a third and one, this time I'm going to put in the line. Right. Incomplete. Right. So he's got a fourth and one. He is. Right. I'm going to look for a run. I'm going to look for a run and key on the half. Right. We have the ball first and 10 at our 11. But that put us a lot closer. Um, so we are in Gould's field goal range now. Let's do uh, Pro Set. Let's get the man Grossman out there. So we can throw a short pass for a touchdown. A split end. Well, if you throw it First down. All right. We've got this path, this alignment. Let's go line buck with uh, Benson. Thank you, Benson. He's going to get me. So we're going to go flat. No, we can't go flat. We're going to go end run. With, uh, I guess, with Benson again. Right. A great choice. Right. So we got a third and goal. Right. Let's try a short pass to the flanker. Right. He's going to be flushed from the pocket and sack. So we have to send Gould to the right. kick. Right field goal. With four minutes left in the game. He's going to make it. He's going to be 46. He's got, he's got a nice return to him. I've got to say that. But we're going to double flank around and pass defense. And it's going to be a fumble zero. And the uh, fumble has occurred. But he gets it back. So he's gonna get it back minus one. All the way So there's a second and nine for him at the 39. I am going to put it pass. And he's got a third and six. I am going to First and he's got a first and ten. No, first and ten at our forty-two. I'm gonna look for the pass. And uh, I'm gonna look for the pass. Minute thirty left in the game. And we're gonna get him in the backfield. 
Oh, he's got a first and ten at the 24 right. because it was a penalty. Now we're just playing right. slot. Guys are getting tired. And I'm going to play the pass. So they've got a third and five at the at our 19. I'm looking for the pass. Probably unless it's no, no, I'm going to accept it. And now he's got a third and fifteen at our twenty-nine. Now he finally has a good importance. They're gonna try a field goal, I'm gonna put in the kick block. Good. He makes it. He's going to get 10 points at least. Probably that's all. And that's going to be it. Game over. So let's take a look at the statistics. Go to reports. Box score. Take a quick look at this. Craig Penrose was 9 of 20 for 66 yards for Denver and five interceptions. Fred Mortensen was 1 for 4. For us, you had Orton, who was 18 of 24 with two touchdowns, no interceptions. And Grossman was 10 of 17 for 116 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions. Um, and then I'll just let you look at the line here. Just it was just a white wash here. So that's gonna be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off from Chicago.